What's up, brother? But like I said, guys, I was literally just sitting there for like a good couple hours. I was just sitting there. And I was like, bro, how am I going to make money? You know what I'm talking about? So, I, like I said, I ran the errands. I did whatever I had to do in the morning. And then after that, I came home. And then after I dropped my girl off from work, I'm just sitting there like, bro. <coughs> oh, shit, guys. I get allergies real quick. But I was like, bro, one of the ways that I, well, my goal, my, my plan for this year was I quit my job in January because I want to focus full time on my YouTube, my entrepreneurship, all this kind of stuff. But then, guys. Also, not only that, I want to focus on that because I also wanted to focus on my health. My health was like, I had a lot of digestive issues. Last year, I got sick so bad. Like, my stomach was like, it was so bad. And like, even if like, there's like a lot of after effects. And I don't know if it was a stomach bug or whatever it was, but it just wasn't the same. I couldn't eat the same. I couldn't eat a lot. Um, I felt bloated all the time. I felt constipated all the time. So I, I was on like probiotics and all this kind of stuff. And then for from August to December, I just had to suck it up. I was working at this school job and pretty much I was working, working, working. It was usually, it was like a set schedule. So it was like Monday to Friday, I was going at 6 in the morning. I'll start at 6 in the morning and then I usually go home about 2 p.m. And then after that, I go run my errands, pick up my girl and then come back, do my YouTube, do whatever I got to do, right? And then also in the meantime, I was traveling. I went to Vegas, Cali, Maui. All these places, right? I was going concerts, all this kind of stuff. So I was spending time with my girl, having fun, making up for the past two months. Because I was sick for two months during summertime, June, July. And like I said, it was a school job. So we had summer off. So I had two months off. But the whole two months, I was sick. So I finally, when I went back on August uh, last year, August to December, I had five months. So pretty much, I was just like, day by day, I had to survive. Because every day, I was like... Oh, bro, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I don't know. I'm scared to eat. I'm paranoid. That's why it was like kind of weird at that time. I was like pushing myself. But at the same time, I was like, I was pushing myself because I want to make up for all the time that I miss. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I miss so much time just from being sick. That's why I believe in health is the most important thing. Because before that, I wasn't even taking care of my health, bro. <laughs> oh, my nose. But I was taking care of my health. But like, I wasn't eating well. I wasn't sleeping good. I was busting double shifts every day. I was getting stressed out. And when you get stressed out, it weakens your immune system. So that's right now. I don't I don't stress myself out over stupid stuff. You know what I'm saying? So at that time, that's why I got sick. Like, bro, I never get sick for almost two years. Even during pandemic, bro. 2020 to 2022, I never get sick. But then in January 2022, I got sick. Sorry, 2020 to beginning of 2022, I never get sick. I got sick in January. I got one fever for like a week. I never get a fever, but I, re- I was in the house for like about a week, four or five days, whatever. And then after that, I got sick with my stomach, June to, I had like the runs like a couple weeks, like one, one and a half weeks, whatever. But then after that, I had other stuff just weak, all this kind of fatigue shit for like, and I'll say it's about two months, bro. And then after that, I kind of just had to like force myself to get out. And because I had to go to work in August, I was like, bruh, I wasn't making no money. I wasn't healthy. I wasn't happy. I wasn't in the best mood. So that's why I was like, bruh, I got to go. And make up for what I missed. You know what I'm talking about? So that's why I was like making YouTube videos. I was trying to play out with my content. And I was working every day, Monday to Friday. And then at one point, guys, um, since it was a school job, we had fall break, Christmas break. Same thing, guys. When there's no students, we don't work, right? So we had fall break in October. So then during that time, I had like a week off from break from work and pretty much i was just chilling and then after that i was like applying to another job because i wanted extra money extra revenue to make up for what i miss so that was a nighttime job and then pretty much they're like yeah the nighttime shift gonna be like 4 to 1 a.m i was like oh earlier so if i did that 4 to 1 a.m even if it was a couple nights couple nights of the week maybe not full time maybe like part time they said i could have made i could have picked my days then it would have been to the point I was like, I would burn out kind of thing because 4 to 1 a.m. And then I would have to wake up at like, what? I usually wake up like 4.30 in the morning to get ready for work. And then I leave the house by like 5.30 in the morning. And then I start 6 o'clock in the morning. And then I run to 2 p.m. And then I got to pick up my girl. And then after that, I got to rush to work. Like, bro, it is not worth it. You know what I'm talking about? Your health is more important. So that's how I was like, bro, I kept burnt. And then we had Christmas break. And then we had two weeks off. And then at the time, I was like, bro, what should I do, guys? It was kind of like getting to the point where I never like burned myself out because I knew I wasn't 100% even within those five months. I was way better than June and July time after during the time I got sick. But after that, it was just like, shit, guys, I need something. I need like I need to. It was like all pointing to the signs of, first of all, take care of your health. But also like I got to find ways to make money just from being home. You know what I'm talking about? What if one day like. You know, like, God forbid, like, I believe in God, I, you know, I, I believe in all this kind of stuff. But, you know, what I'm saying I was like, I always need a contingency plan. So I was like, bro, what if one day 
like my stomach just doesn't heal. You know what I'm talking about? But it's way better now. But what if it doesn't? What if I don't find a solution? Then what can happen? How going to go to work every day and suffer and all that kind of shit, Monday to Friday? You know what I'm saying? And I was looking at people who get like Crohn's disease, IBS, bro, that shit sucks, bro. And I don't have none of that, but I was like, to the point, I was like, am I developing that? I don't know, because some people, they catch it on later on in their life. So I was praying and hoping to God. I was like, bro, I hope that's not me. But then it wasn't me. Good, short story short, it, that was not the case. But then after that, guys, um, I was just, December time, I had two weeks off. So during Christmas, New Year's time, me and my girls spending time together, and I was debating. I was like, what should I do, guys? Should I quit? Should I just go full on with my entrepreneurship, work on YouTube videos? Because I had this channel for about, I opened it up in like end of 2017, but I was never consistent. That was the time I was in high school. I was a sophomore and I wasn't doing anything. I was just like posting every five months. But then 2019 came, Christmas time. I finished football. I was working, but then I was trying to focus on my YouTube. Then after when pandemic hit, I started lacking. I never post. It was just blank, blank channel. 2021, barely posted. 2022, I was like, bro, I got to pick this shit up. And then finally, in the end of 2022, I was like, bro, I got to take this shit serious because I got potential. I got so much, like, creative ideas, and I got the consistency. I got the grind, and I really, really want this, and it pays good. I love working at home. I love, you know what I'm saying, creating content, making people happy, and also just uh, spreading a motivational message for other people to get shit going. You know what I'm talking about? So that's why I was like, shit, bro, this is it, bro. This is it. Everything's pointing to what if... Stuff like that, your stuff, your basic stuff stripped away and cannot do this in life because, oh, this and that. You need something else. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be working for this job. That's why, like, I believe, I love 9 to 5 jobs. I used to work a lot of 9 to 5 jobs. I had, like, five different jobs by the time uh, during the three-year span of me graduating. And I built up a lot of life skills without having to go to college, a lot of life experience, a lot of different skills. And I was stacking up my money and I was being busy and occupied. But at the same time, I was like, shit, what if something like that happens in my life where like something like pandemic hit and they got to force you to do something or like maybe I, I get IBS kind of thing and you're like, fuck, I cannot go work anymore. So that's the kind of stuff I was thinking in the back of my head. And it was all pointing to the signs of, bro, you got to be an entrepreneur. You got to make your money. You got to take care of your family. You got to retire them. And you cannot be going places Monday to Friday at this job getting paid only once, tw twice a month. It wasn't the lifestyle. So everything was like, literally just like showing me like you gotta get this path going on this path so what i did was my girl went to um she went to the philippines in january so she was gone for one month so it was just me so the whole time i literally all i've been doing was going to work uh, we went back to work in like january 5th or some shit in 2023 and then after that i was just grinding working monday to friday and then i was like shit, should i tell my boss should i tell my boss should i go all in on it and then by the time Middle of January, I told my boss, I'm going to put in my two weeks. So I put in my two weeks. And then I finished work by like end of January. And then my boss, them, they was all sad. They're like, bro, please, no. They, they, they kept trying to convince the other coworkers and trying to convince me to get me to stay. And all this kind of shit. I was like, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand because they were saying that I was calling out. I used to call out about like, every, like once a month all the time. And before, when I used to work other jobs before, I barely called out. Like I was always there double shifting, working, working, working. But this time was my health, right, was my concern. So once a month, I'll feel like a little bit fatigued. So I don't go work. And they'll be like, why are you always calling out? Blah, blah, blah. Like that was the only thing that they, what it means, satisfaction within my job criteria was calling out from work all the time. So that's why I was like, yeah, but they don't understand. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I call it out is because I'm not messing around, playing around, doing this. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally like my health is my main concern right now. Me, my mind, with God, all this kind of stuff was my main concern because without all of that, I would not be able to crush my goals. I would not be able to go out here and work and do all this kind of stuff and take care of the family. You know what I'm saying? So that's why at the end of the day, I, it was so important to me to literally just have to quit this job to not only focus on my health, but when I was at home trying to focus on my health, I could be literally making YouTube videos, trying to start my own business, do this and do that. And that's what I've been doing for the past couple of months. That's what I've been doing for or February, March, April, May, June, July, and then now it's August. It's the beginning of August. So for the past six months, almost half a year, I've been literally trying to figure out what I can do. I did tests and trials and I failed and I did this and I'm trying to figure out what kind of content I should make. Boom, boom, boom. And then after I graduated too, I mean not graduated, but after I quit my job, then I went to Maui to just, you know, get away. You know, me and my boy, we were just on a, on a trip. And then after that, um, I went, I came back to my island 
And then after that was my grandma was in the hospital. And then all these family members, they was all passing away from February to March and April. I was like, what the fuck? You know, that was all this kind of weird stuff that was going on. So I was like, bro, this is even more of a sign to keep going. But on a health wise, how I got better, I literally went to acupuncture. So every week, I first of all, I watch my diet. I work out, I exercise, I do all this, I do that. Drink water only. I don't eat fast foods. I make sure I get eight hours of sleep. Eat a lot of fruits, eat a lot of vegetables, take my daily supplements. And every Sunday, I usually go to acupuncture. If um, if there's nothing Sunday, nothing coming up, all this kind of stuff, I go acupuncture every Sunday to make sure that my health is on par. I go exercising every day, working out, do all this kind of stuff. Make sure I get some sun to get the vitamin C, all this kind of stuff. And acupuncture really helped with my stomach, helping my diet really helped with my stomach, watching what I eat, being healthy because 80, 70%... 70% is literally your digest your digestive system is seventy percent of the immune system. So if your digestive system is ass, your immune system is ass, making me making you easier to get sick. So that's how I was like, yup, this is it. So guys, I'm just waiting, guys. When when am I gonna blow up on YouTube? I don't know. That's the thing. That's that's where I gotta work at. But then that's why I was busting. I was just sitting there. I was like this, bro. I was literally just sitting there for like the past couple of hours. I was like, what can I do to make money? So this is how I've been keeping up with my money. So I, I, be, I worked for like about three years, three, four years already, but I stacked up almost 50 grand in my bank account. So that's why I'm not really tripping. I'm not like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, but I could be further ahead. You know what I'm talking about? That's why I'm always like, bro, I gotta literally just focus on fuck the money. You know what I'm talking about? Focus on the big boy money. Because at the end of the day, if this, when this stuff gets pulled off, I'm gonna be making big bank, doing what I love and just, being an entrepreneur, which is my end goal, you know what I'm talking about, in this physical realm. So what I've been doing to make money, I be, if I need fast cash, I go DoorDash on my car. I got the DoorDash app I signed up. You guys should sign up too if you guys know how to drive and do all this kind of stuff. But it's been kind of slow. It's kind of oversaturated in Hawaii. It's a small island and a lot of people do it because of, I believe it got popular in like 2020 because of the pandemic. People were trying to get some jobs and shit because they got laid off. Easy cash, right? And then also, I've been working on my Mercari stuff. So what I do, I get comics. I go to the comic store. I, I resell all this kind of stuff. And that's what I do, man. No camp. All right, guys. All right. Good morning, guys. Right now, guys, I'm going to be going and picking up my girl real quick. It's so much jobs and all that. And pretty much, I stack up so much already. You know what I'm talking about? So that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, my buddy. Oh, this car, oh, this car, this car's on good driver. But yeah, yeah, that's what that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to stack up my money. And cause like I'm gonna take you guys rundown of all the jobs that I work at. Okay, so I work at um, I work at uh, my first job was landscaping, and then from there, my boss she was making me do all this other kind of stuff, right? So she's making me do all this other kind of stuff, like such as painting. And then also I was working with this other guy, um, this landscaping company. So that's all the job experiences that I got when I, by the time I was 17 years old. And then also she was, like I said, she, she was trying to get me into painting. Painting, right? Um, like painting roads and curbs and all that. So that's what I was trying to do. But then pandemic hit. So um, the company that I was supposed to go to, they wasn't hiring anymore because they was kind of tight. They're like, oh, brah. How we gonna do this, right? If we no more contracts and jobs because everything's shutting down, right? So, yeah, that's what pretty much happened. But then after that, I got job at Taco Bell. So I was working fast food. So I was working at fast food. Oh, how come there's so much traffic right now? It was Friday, guys. Nice, beautiful Friday. Not early morning, but you know, almost afternoon. 10.30 in the morning right now. But then I got fast food experience for like two years. So I learned like customer service skills, how to make the food, frying, all this kind of stuff, right? So that's what that's what I learned from those jobs. And then after that, I got my new car and then pretty much, I was like job hopping at that point. I was, I was working like restaurants, all that, not for long though. And then after that, I was working at like Enterprise, which is a car rental company, driving cars, doing all this kind of stuff. And then after that, from there, then I was working at, um, what was I working at? I was working at this school, this high school and these other restaurant jobs. And you know what I'm saying? I learned how to drive box trucks, all this kind of stuff, delivery, whoop whoop, all the basic kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, I was doing side hustles like DoorDash, Uber Eats, um, Mercari, all this kind of stuff. So I'm always taking the initiative to learn and become better. Even if it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it's not like 
paying me much i'm going to always make sure that i learn and become better and acquire all these skills because i know a lot of people bro they just because the pay is so low and all that they don't like they don't like work hard or they don't like do this or they don't like learn that and whatever so me is like i'm i feel like i'm the opposite i i love learning but it has to be hands-on experience like for school and all that it's not making me money it's not hands-on you're just reading one textbook i'd rather be like in person doing the thing you know what i'm saying so like i don't like reading about how to cut grass i'd rather be cutting the grass to learn you know what i'm talking about i don't go read how to box i'd rather take the hands-on practice to learn how to box you feel so that's what i that's what I, 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 I believe is, you know what I'm saying? So, brah, yes, sir. Gee. Guys, right now, I'm driving right now. I'm gonna pick up my girl real quick. But guys, right now, guys, I'm on the road right now, okay? So. How come I look like I got sunburned? I don't know why I look like so brown right now, like red, not brown, but why I look so like extra red? But yeah, guys, right now I'm almost to my destination. And like I said, for the agenda of today, guys, I'm just picking up my girl and then I'm gonna go run home, get ready real quick because it's so hot. And earlier I was just taking pictures, doing Mercari sales, doing my YouTube videos. Now I gotta go upload the video. And then after that, then I gotta go ahead and shower when I go home. And then after that, I gotta go, we're gonna run some errands. And I don't know if we're going to this night market tonight. Some of my peoples that I know, they, um, they're selling over there. So we might go ahead and support then I might record, get some videos, get some footage, you know what I'm talking about, and rock and roll for the day. So that's just how I'm rolling, you know what I'm saying? So that's just the rollout for today. And after that, um, I don't know, guys. For business-wise, I'm just trying to really, really get to sell comics so that I can make some fast cash. And like I said, guys, I'm thinking about going back to the seasonal job. It's like seasonal, so it's going to be like, what, September till like January? So I can stack up, stack up, stack up, and then get back to my entrepreneurship. So, cause I'm getting way healthier. The reason why I quit, I dropped all my jobs was because I really wanted a foot in the in the door. You know what I'm talking about? With um, I wanted one foot in the door, bro. With um, my my entrepreneurship, my YouTube, all this kind of stuff. I wanted to just kick it off and pretty much just do whatever I had to do for the next couple months. Stay home, figure out what I had to do, and then after I figured out what to do, then. And I was also focusing on my health. So my health was like, my stomach, I had bad stomach issues, but then I started going to acupuncture and doing whatever I had to do and it feels way better than before. So I think I'm ready to go ahead and get back to work. You know what I'm talking about? Like regular jobs kind of. And make that money and stack up. It's a good, now I learned like now, since I'm healthier, um, I found out what I need to do for YouTube. Now I can work regular jobs to have that sense of balance. So I'll be making money online. I'll be making money in person and also focusing on making money online kind of thing, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do. Yes, uh, my brothers. Drop my girl off. Now we we headed back. I don't know if we're gonna run errands. She gotta do like laundry and shit like that. So I'm headed back home, and I'm gonna see what I can do right now when I get back home. You know what I'm saying? So that's the goal, man. Kiss 
traffic though right now it's friday yeah so a lot of right now guys i'm in the car right now but i'm warming up the car real quick and i'm gonna go pick up my chick it's like what three o'clock right now three something almost three and i'm gonna go ahead and pick her up and i don't know what we're gonna do but you know what i'm saying just the the past couple hours just editing working out doing whatever i had to do and yes sir that's what i'm doing yes sir. hey guys i gotta go ahead and go pick up my girl what is this bro this is like one scab on my nose what the hell but yeah guys i'll see you guys later yes sir Chee. Soccer player, Messi. Messi. Sup? Me. What does that mean? Um, oh. Guys, I'm using the number two. Are you hurt? Laundry. No. You think they make it? They make it like nice and. It's not your typical ice cream. You know what I mean? Like, look it up. I wanna look it up. I don't even. So. <laughs> so far. So far. So far. So so.
Yeah, the bread place is here, this right? This place? Yeah, but who's that one? What's our room? Isn't that fruit? Yeah. Yeah. That's the end. I get strawberry chunks in here. Fruits is failing, bro. <laughs> we did park four. How about you feel further going back now? Why is it? It feels far harder. I don't know. No, because all of the... I think all of... The yeah. Didn't we take like the... Um, like on the sidewalk. Almost there. Yes, sir. Are oh, you ready? Right oh, so what is this? Um, street tacos combo. What is that inside? Meat. Meat. Asada. Meat and some salt. Lemon. S um, salt. This is lime. Lime. Um, the sauces, beans, beans and, and rice. rice. Oh yes. And then we get going back home now. Right there. Right there. Oh, I never know. Is that dried two chilies? Oh, 
said they're coming. So show me how jump in. And I wanna go show me how I'm yeah, like yeah. I can see oh. like the light. Fucking safer. Bro, it sounded like this parking, bro. Ass the parking. Ass. Fucking parking on the side street. Get the fuck off the road, bro. Anyways, guys, we just came from the market and all that. And pretty much, you know, we just can go show some support. I know some people do markets and stuff, so I gotta get enough. Like, I'm picking up. I was chilling at the house for a couple hours. And then after we and chill and all that, then, um, where we went after? Oh, we went back to my house real quick. I had to go shower, brush my teeth, and all this kind of stuff. And then after I did that, then I went go ahead and um, where, where did I go? Oh, we went go. We went to this parking lot. We was waiting for an hour because had so much traffic go, um going on the freeway where we was headed to. So that's why I went go ahead and um went on the freeway. It took about uh, 20 minutes to get there. Then we got there. Then we was at the market for like a good like hour, hour and half or so. Getting my girl got some Mexican food, tacos and whatever. I'm gonna eat at home. I'm gonna eat when, once I get in the house. I got some fish, salmon, rice and poi. And yeah, guys, so and I got some desserts that I bought, you know what I'm talking about? So, but there is right now, guys, I'm almost home and all that. But, um, yeah, nice, beautiful day today. Tomorrow's Saturday, bro. How come my hair is like uh, no more curls after I shower and all that? Like, I need the curls back, bro. I'm gonna get the curls back. Like, I mean, oh, guys, I just got home, but I'm gonna eat this. This is like on banana bread, chocolate banana bread. I'm gonna go pop this real quick. Then I got this over here. I'll do a mukbang, but got some rice, some salmon fish, and some poi. Yes, yeah, sir. They're gonna eat. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's get it. We we'll try this right here, bro. This is our chocolate banana bread. <laughs> how how can I eat this? Wait, hold on. What the fuck, bro? Okay. I'm gonna try this, okay, bro. Mmm. Eight o'clock now, late dinner. Mmm. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I mean, for the entree. Rice. And fish. And boy. Hawaiian food. Cheap. Digest good. Mmm.
Ah, uh, this is fish on point. Mm. All right. There's so much fish, bring on. Next entree that I got guys is on donut bro. Uh what is this on donut? I got this yes it is like a glazed donut with some Oreo, whatever. I don't know man. They go check it out. That's a shit. Let's try this shit guys. Mm. This is okay. That's why people are getting dumb. Werewolf. There, bro. Headshot. What's up, guys? I'm gonna conclude the video right now, guys, but I'm on the toilet, okay? So, and it's 12.50 right now in the morning. So, pretty much what we did was we, what did I do? I went over to, so I, I picked up my girl this morning. But before that, I was doing my work, posting, Mercari, YouTube, doing all this kind of stuff. And then after that, guys, look at my hair like. But then after that, uh, I pick her up, drop her home. Then after I drop her home, I was home a couple hours editing. Bro, I get something in my mouth. Some a sore, ah, they got pimple or some shit. What's good, huh? But I drop her off, and after I drop her off, I came back home. A couple hours to spare, eating, editing, thinking of what to do, and then after that, I would pick. I left the house at like what two something two twenty p.m. Went down to my girl's house, chilled out a little bit for like an hour half. Came back home, changed, showered, got ready. And pretty much me and my girl, we went down to, I went put gas first. And then after I put some gas, then uh, we went to this parking lot. We just chilling for one hour because we just chilling. Um, I was looking at jobs and all that. Like I was saying, I'm trying to look for some jobs, some seasonal, like part-time jobs and all that kind of stuff. And pretty much after that, um, 6 o'clock p.m., we drove down the freeway because we was waiting one hour because we was waiting for the traffic. It's Friday, so traffic is bad. People driving crazy, doing all this kind of stuff. So we went six o'clock, got there in like what like fifteen minutes to the shopping area and pretty much it was a night market. Walked around, had fun, got some food, you know what I'm talking about. Then after that we drove back home, dropped off my girl, and then after that I went in the house, chilled, ate some dinner, and then at like ten thirty I had to go pick up somebody and then after that we came back home and here we are now two hours later but i'm gonna go after i use the bathroom i'm just sitting on the toilet after that i'm gonna go upstairs and go sleep and wake up at like eight o'clock tomorrow in the morning so yeah we just grinding you know what i'm talking about so i'll see you guys tomorrow if you guys enjoyed this long video 
comment please and subscribe i'm trying to hit two thousand subscribers all right let's see if we can pull it off but yeah guys i'll see you guys tomorrow a couple hours yes so i'm trying to video every day post every day that's my goal yeah the hell is that on my nose bro okay Chee.